are we able to change something, at least correct in some way the weather? And uh, I have an answer that yes, we can. My name is Sergei Pulinets. I am working at Space Research Institute of Russian Academy of Sciences. I am calling to you from Moscow. And uh, I suppose the majority of you are concerned what is happening with our climate. Um, we see some changes which look not normal, but uh, unusual. For example, in Russia, we uh, have uh, incredible number of precipitation and all center of Russia is full of rains, heavy rains, which provoke the floods. I can say that one of stadiums which was built for the soccer championship uh, for next year was whipped by the flood. And uh, in general, uh, we do not have very high temperatures in Moscow. It is one of the coolest summers through several tens of years at least. So uh, the question what we have increase of the global temperature or cooling is has no answer for a moment. And the worst thing that we have the fighting of different groups of scientists, one with which stand for the Paris Agreement and claim that carbon dioxide increase the temperature on our planet. And another uh, part of scientists uh, say that is not so. And they have their own arguments. I would like to say you that uh, in June, we had several days, uh, we could not observe any spot on our star on the sun and we know from historical records that the low solar activity especially very low number of solar um, spots provoke the cooling of our atmosphere uh, we know at least for the records of the solar spots for 400 years that there were two periods, first of uh, which was uh, named Mulder Minimum and second the Dalton Minimum. The first one was in the 17th century, the second one was in the beginning of 19th century and the Mulder Minimum water reservoirs in Holland, Belgium were, were fr frozen you know the pictures of uh, Bregel showing uh, uh, this unusual for modern people uh, weather in these areas. So what to do? At least uh, we now observe the increase of extremes, extreme events, very strong floods, uh, the droughts, uh, in different areas of our planet. For example, uh, we have the floods and very high temperature in the south for uh, more than 40 degrees, which uh, also very unusual for Russia. And uh, we observe all over the Europe uh, the extreme oscillations of the weather. Uh, what we can do? Are we able to change something to uh, at least correct in some way the weather? And uh, I have answer 
that yes, we can, at least in the local areas, such technology is based on the air ionization, which produces the strong condensation of the water vapor on the new formed ions, and by this you can make influence depending on the regime of this installation or to disperse the clouds or to cause stimulated precipitation and by these effects you can change the air temperature or increase or decrease depending what are you doing uh, with clouds. This technology, the pioneer of this technology is Lev Pokmilnik, who left from Russia to Mexico and spent uh, at least 20 years in Mexico and with the company Elad, they were able to control the weather in desert regions of Mexico, increasing the precipitation. Um, by increase of precipitation, they fight it with the forest fires in Yucatan Peninsula and even they try to make effects on the hurricanes in uh, east uh, coast of Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean. And um, I can testify that uh, they are uh, were successful in this. But um, I should say that Regardless, uh, this technology is very effective. It is also dangerous because we know about the nuclear energy. Uh, we have power station in many uh, countries, but from other way, uh, the nuclear energy could be used as a weapon. And uh, such kind of installations also could be used as the meteorological weapon and uh, to open way to such technology uh, we should be sure that there will be some international agreement which will not permit to use this technology to worsen the situation in different countries if this country is your enemy. So, uh, nevertheless, I suppose we need to start and to test in wider scale uh, this technology and at least to help in most affected areas of our globe to improve the weather conditions and if to properly to distribute this installation, we would be able to control uh, not fully but partly the climate of our planet. And probably this is a hope to uh, make effects uh, and to reduce, to mitigate the consequences of climate change which we observe now. I wish success to your meeting. I am open for discussion and will be help if uh, some kind of cooperation in this direction will open. Uh, we uh, are able to uh, produce such equipment and uh, we are open to start the works for their practical applications. Thank you very much for your intention. I wish success to your meeting. All the best to all of you and do not experience the weather violence uh, in your areas. Thank you very much.